Hey friends, this week we are uh, in the Gospel of Luke and we're in chapter 24 and we're reading verses 13 through 35. So find some time and sit down and read through this uh, story, um, it's the road to Emmaus. And what is happening here is Jesus has risen and he has now shown himself to uh, Mary and some of the disciples and there are these two apostles who are now um, they're they're walking along and they're on the road to Emmaus and they've left Jerusalem and the two of them are talking to one another and so the resurrection has happened the you know and before that the life of Jesus and then the death of Jesus and these two are talking but their conversation is not necessarily one of this immense hope found in the resurrection. They are rather kind of um, struggling with what has taken place and what has happened to Jesus. And they are walking along this road and um, this man appears. And in the reading, we know this man is Jesus, but he has not revealed himself that way to these apostles. And they are going along and um, Jesus kind of asks what they're talking about and they there's this response that's kind of like have you not heard what is going on they're kind of even seem a little bit amazed that this man wouldn't know and they go along and um, it's the they get to the end of their journey and night is coming and they ask this man the two apostles ask this man who we know is Jesus to stay with them and he agrees, and then later they are uh, breaking bread, and is at that point when the bread is broken that Jesus reveals to him, to them who they are, and they there's this response that after they realize it's Jesus, and then he then goes away, he disappears. They say, "Was it, were our hearts not burning when that man was speaking to us, when Jesus was speaking to us?" and as I've thought about this reading, honestly, I've kind of struggled in um, placing this in my life. And then it really hit me this morning that, you know, we, as we all struggle with certain things um, right now, for so many of us, it is uh, the season of quarantine, um, that COVID-19 and the pandemic has taken over the world. And, um, but there can be other things that are going on in your life as well, you know, just along with the state of the world, you know, loss and grief and struggle. And I was uh, thinking about, you know, we can come together and talk about these things in discussion. And that's a word that's used uh, between is that they're discussing the events that have taken place. So um, we can discuss events and kind of talk in circles about those events, right? And, and, and um, talk for a long time without really any resolution about what's happening. But when you have a hope and you can find Jesus in things, that is our hope. And that gives us reassurance and that takes things that, events that take place and it shifts them from just things that are happening to something to look forward to and hope and excitement and peace in within us. So it got me thinking about how Right now, um, you know, I've gone back and forth and struggling with what's going on and missing friends and missing regular life and how things used to be. And if I stay in that place, I can be pretty down in the dumps. But if I can remember that I have a Savior in Jesus Christ who resurrected from the dead for me, for my life, for you, for your life, um, that is my hope that God's glory will shine through everything and that is what I can hold on to. So I was thinking about how as these disciples were in this really sad and hard place, it was then that Jesus showed up for them. As they were struggling, as they were, as they were walking to Emmaus, just the two of them alone, it was then that Jesus showed up. So my challenge for you this week is to know, is for you to know, is for you to write about or think about how has Jesus shown up for you? Where is he in your life right now, even in this hard time, this strange and, and this time that doesn't make sense, just like it didn't make sense to those two apostles walking? Um, where has Jesus shown up and revealed himself so that you can have hope and you can be encouraged and, and move forward? So that's it for this week. Take a look at that reading, see what speaks to you, write down your hope and just hold on to that. 
So uh, also youth group has been doing a gratitude list. Like, so every day writing down one thing that you're grateful for, I think that's a great way to find hope in Jesus in this. So take a chance to do that. And um, until next time, friends, peace.